Girl, all right, Bree. So this is for my video, Day in the Life. But right now it's nighttime. Taking some pictures with my friends is what we do. Every weekend, nothing else to do. So we're gonna see what they doing. <laughs> Say hi, guys. Hi. There's Ari Camilla, yeah, Bianca. Ari, Bianca Don't worry, <laughs> social distancing is happening. Um, we'll be Wear back. This in my pocket. Wear your mask. You got your mask, Bianca? Yes. So for this video, I'm going to be doing my hair, my makeup, taking some pictures, picking out an outfit, cleaning my room, just a few things that I do during the week and hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so I'm back. I finally did my hair. I took off my robe. She's looking real good. Um, the next clip, I'll be showing you guys my makeup. Okay, y'all. So I did my eyebrows off camera. And I put my concealer on, so I'm going to show you guys the products that I use and then the order that I use them in. So, for my eyebrows, I use this eyebrow pomade by The Crayon Case, and it looks like this in the shade Dark Brown. And then to conceal, I use a mixture of Warm Honey by LA Girl Pro Concealer, and it looks like this. It says Warm Honey on the back. And then I also use ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Dark 36. It looks like this. And then after I do my eyebrows, I do LA Girl Pro Concealer for my under eye, forehead, chin, sides of my lips, and above my lip as well, and down the nose. And I use the shade Fawn. And I get pretty good coverage with it, so that's why I do that first. And then for foundation, it's pretty much the same color as a fawn, but it's a little more orange. And it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 340, which is cappuccino, like this. And then for our cream contour, I use Wet n Wild Foundation Stick in the shade Marin, and it looks like this. It's like a cute, like, chocolatey brown. And yeah, so we're gonna blend everything out, and I'll show you what that looks like. So now I'm gonna blend everything out. First, what I like to do is let it sit for a minute under my eye. So I'll let it sit for about two to three minutes just so that it dries down and I have more like full coverage. So I'll do my forehead and everything first and do under eye last. And then I also keep like a little rag or paper towel to wipe off the excess like makeup because I mean, it picks it up. So my cheeks and on my forehead just to give a little bit more color. Now we're gonna blend the nose, chin, and my mirror is over here. That's why I'm looking this way. Blend over the lips. It's okay to get it on your lips because you need to blend it out completely. So you can just wipe your lips off when you're done. And I also have a chapstick on just so that my lips aren't dry but it's okay to get it on your lips, it's fine. Nobody will know. I mean, now you know, but. And now I'm gonna wipe it off because it's getting a little bit like caked on. So I'm gonna wipe it off to almost where it's like bare and then go for the under eye. So I like to start down here and then, then bring it down the cheek and then brush it on the sides of my nose. And I bring it up. And you gotta look up to get the under eye. Or sometimes I close it and get the lid as well because we're gonna put eyeshadow on. And then blend it down. And then it's looking pretty good. I'm also gonna wipe it off again. And if you hear a noise in the background, it's my sweet mates. Sorry to about that.
So now that that's all blended out, I just go back in in between the brows, under the eye, any spots that I've missed. And then next clip, I'm gonna come back with the foundation on and then show you how I blend it out. Okay guys, so now I'm putting on foundation. I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and I use a flat foundation brush to just swipe it on and then I blend out with a beauty blender. So for, I like to put it lower, like right in this area. Um, and I just swipe down like this. And I do the same thing on this side. And then I like to also just do a little bit like one swipe there, a swipe there, and then yeah, one in the middle. And then dab it out and that's usually how much I use and then sometimes I like to cover this little dark mark I have on my chin we'll just put it all over why not and then I take the bottom part of a beauty blender and I just blend it out And if you're not making weird faces while you do your makeup, are you even doing it right? I don't know. Hold down the sideburns, you know. You gotta keep the wig down. Then, for this part, I don't like to get makeup like in my hair. I try not to get it there. So I just put my hand here and I'll let the extra get on my finger but I don't really want it to get on the hair because then when I have to redo my edges, it's gonna be a bunch of makeup on them. Now, as you can see, it's very like natural, but you know, you still have your makeup on. And then I just go over like the rest of my face because I am going to go in with a lighter concealer just to brighten up my under eye and forehead and chin and nose. And then we'll do, I guess we'll do it together. We'll do the cream contour and highlight. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm going to take my foundation stick that I use as a contour for cream contour. And I just take a little brush and so we're going to do a little bit of a nose contour so i just swipe it on a few times then i make a line um, inside like that repeat it on the other side and then i just do the tip of my nose yeah, no, no, I was just going over the case of my oh, let me turn my TV off, sorry. Grey's Anatomy has been taking up a lot of my time. So we'll just do that, maybe a little line across. Either way, it's going to be blended out. And then I put a few lines on my forehead, a little bit that's outward. like to do it like that then we're gonna I don't feel the need to use a brush for my cheeks but I go like along like right here like I'll touch for the bone and I'll feel so it's right here I'm gonna go like this like that same thing on this side like that so this is what our contour is looking like now the concealer that I used for highlighting is the warm honey and the dark 36 from ColourPop so I just mix it on the back of my hand I use this wet and wild brush. It's rubbed off yet again, one of my favorite brushes. So I'm gonna just do 
three little swipes on my forehead and then make it into like a little half circle like that then under my eye we're gonna just go like this not too much but enough to just brighten up same thing And then I also go here and down my nose. So we're gonna look like this. We're looking nice. You can already tell it's gonna blend out nice. So we're just gonna close our stuff up. And which brush are we using? I'll be back when it's all blended out and show you how I set everything. So now I started blending it out. I already blended out my forehead. So what you want to remember when you're blending out your cheeks, you want to blend up, not down. Because then you'll just look hard. So you want to blend up. And then once we set it, we'll set it with the powder. So you just want to blend up. Because when you go down, it just creates a harsh line. So blend up and I just like to bring it all the way around just to not have any gap so same thing on this side It brings back the structure and warmth and color into your face because when you just use concealer and foundation, not that it's bad, but you kind of look flat. So you want to just add a little bit more color, warmth, and more structure and shape to your face. So now that we have that blended out, we're going to take another brush. Is this one good? We're going to use this one to blend out our nose. So I just start from the top and I kind of bring it into my inner corner a little bit and I bring it up and then I swipe down. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And it's okay if it's a little messy because I still have to blend out my concealer and then once we set it, it'll be sharper. this part out it tickles a little bit but it's all worth it it looks very cute when we're done you can already see just a little bit of a difference I'm not going for like a nose job look it's just to finish it all off everybody else does it so let me just blend this to blend out our concealer so same brush this is a, actually another one because I have a few of these as well so we're gonna blend out everything else and then we're gonna set I go back in with the brush I used to contour just because sometimes you know it'll mess up the blend and then I'll go in with the sponge that I put my foundation on just to like have everything flow into one thing one color not one color but look uniformed so I blend this all the way out like this 
and then we're going to do the tip of the nose like so and then it just pinch the brush hold on okay y'all so y'all gonna hear my sweet mates for a few minutes but i just blended out my nose and forehead and i'm gonna do upper lip chin and under eye I would close my door, but I'm too lazy, so I don't know. It won't be too much longer. So I'm gonna put them under the eye. And another good tip is to go back and forth for your eyes because you don't want to have one that's overly blended and then the other one is just like, okay, it's blended, but it's not as blended as the other one. So just going back and forth helps from giving you that like unblended look. I'm gonna look back in my mirror just to see. Here she is. She's a little dusty on the back, don't judge me. But I just go like that. And as you can see, I let it dry down so it gives me more coverage that I need. And hold on. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna set my makeup or I've already done it. But the powder that I use is the Maybelline Fit Me Medium Deep 30. And as you can see, I like basically just carved out the contour and then we're gonna go over with the powder to set our contour as well. And so I did under eye, forehead, nose, sides of the nose, upper lip. Now for this part, I don't like to leave it because it'll leave like a cast. Um, but other than that, it's a really good powder. So literally I just, sharpen this up and I don't leave it there long I literally do the other side and then I brush it off but it was at a little down here you know don't want to leave her hanging and then I use, here's the brush. I like a brush that's a little bit, not well dense, so it can like really get in there. So we'll oh, do this side first. So I'll just swipe it away. You can see it's much sharper, but that line will go away. But I know if I left it any longer, it will really create a, a bad like cast and we don't want that so now for setting my contour powder I use the black radiance true complexion contour palette light to medium and then I just mix the first two shades the contour and sculpts just to get a perfect mix then I also use this hold on Use this e.l.f. brush as well. Just get some of the other products off. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So, like I said, I'm going to mix. Oh, I dropped it. First two shades, contour and sculpt. So, I just basically go back and forth. So, I get a good amount and then tap off the extra. And I do cheeks first, so... I just go on top like that. Then we also do the forehead again. Like that. And 
that's it for the setting of the contour. I always go back in just because sometimes, you know, gotta fix things. But um, that's about it. We're gonna close our powder. Now I'm gonna wipe off the powder everywhere else. Just like uh, I know it looks like I'm being heavy, but I'm lightly swiping it off like so. Repeat on the next side. And then the forehead. Like that. And then sometimes certain areas look a little powdery afterwards, but obviously you just set it. So I go back in with my little leftover contour powder and I just go in just to get rid of like any harsh like line before I use setting spray. Oh, my nose, duh. I just honestly take any like fluffy brush go over my nose not really trying to be perfect about it so i just think that was a little much just take some like that repeat and then tip of the nose and then then now i'm using Okay, I like setting spray, so I'm gonna use a few. Um, so the first one I use is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It's really light, um, goes on really well. And then this other one is from a black old business off of Instagram, it's called The Goddess Supply Co. And I basically, I don't remember what like shade I got it in, but it smells like cotton candy and it smells really good. Then I also use sometimes the rose water from Mario Badescu or I use Mac Fix Plus but today I think I'm just gonna stick with these three so first I'll go in with the continuous setting mist so you just spray it and it comes out nice and light so that's our first one let me get my fan also so good to use a fan my cousin got this for me from JagCon so you just use this to help it dry down and then I'm also gonna go in with this one you know don't be shy and as I fan it I use the sponge to blend out anything that I just see. So honestly, I'm gonna like that, put that aside, go with the sponge. That's it for now, but I set my face multiple times after I'm done. And then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna put on blush and highlight. Okay, so next is blush. So I'm gonna use the Wash Me, Watch Me Blush Palette from the Crayon Case. It's new, can't wait to use it. So I'm gonna use the shade tangerine which is this orange shade and then maybe a little bit of cranberry but i don't really want it to be like red i just want like a warm orangey tone so i'm gonna just tap into that a few times this is the color payoff then lightly tap in the cranberry and then back in so when you put on blush you know people say smile which you should do you don't always have to do but um I just blend it all out. Just 
brighter than I thought, but it's cute. And sometimes it's good to have a lot of blush because it just, I don't know, it adds enough color and it also just makes the look. It ties it together. That's what I'm looking for. It ties it together. I actually just started wearing blush not too long ago. I mean, when I first started doing makeup, wasn't really a blush fan. But now, can't tell me nothing. I also like to put it on my nose just a little bit. And don't worry, I know it's looking kind of harsh on this side, or on both sides, honestly. But um, we'll fix that. gonna go in with a bigger clean fluffier brush just to like tone it down and get rid of some of the pigment also use our contour brush just to bring more of that in but as you can see it's still very okay you love to see it Ugh. do you guys ever do your makeup and feel like you have to sneeze because i feel like i have to sneeze right now and i don't like that okay and next is our highlight so another business that i love that's on instagram is skin glass by norface so i have both the drops and the two highlighting powders so one is the oh wait i forgot the names but one is a gold tone and the other one is a pink tone. I'm just basically gonna do a mixture of all. So, before I highlight, I like to spray my face again just to have it like a little damp. Just to, not too much, because sometimes highlight can be very, very blinding and too much. So I'm gonna go in with this brush. It's like this, it's not a typical fan brush, but I will use this one as well, but I go in with this one first. So I'm just gonna try to think, should I do the drops? Yeah, I'm gonna do the drops first. And it's an oil, but it's for glow. And I might not even have to use the powders mixed. So you just wanna shake it well. what it looks like and I just squeeze out all the products from inside because you really need literally one drop is all you need like that that's even a lot but so wait I'm looking at it so I'm just gonna pick it up on the brush and then I do my highlight like right I can blend out my finger better. So you just take it from a few dots. Yeah. And another good thing about this oil is you can wear it without makeup. So you can do your routine, like your moisturizer, um, toner and everything, and then put this on on top and just be glowing. And yeah, you don't have to use it for makeup just use it if you're running errands and you you know want to just have a little bit of something on to give you that extra glow now i also like to put highlight above my brows like right here you know like how sometimes people sweat right here it just i don't know it adds something when you take pictures which is what i'm gonna do tonight as well so we're gonna also pick out an outfit and then i just bring it up like that so you, you can see it, but it's not like in your face. That was a good face, was it? But um, yeah. So now I'm just gonna take the loose powder and just a little bit of the pink one, not too much. You see how it just tops it off. And then I just take it and lightly like brush it through. Okay. And that's all 
all she wrote. So next, I'm gonna do my lips. And anyone who knows me knows I love a good dark lip liner and a nice, like, not nude, but like, nude. Or my type of nude. So what I actually do is I use both a lip liner and a eyeshadow. So this is one I just got from a beauty supply store. It's literally like a dollar. So even though I do have makeup on my lips, I could leave it, but I'm going to wipe it off actually. So I'm just going to take the chisel. I'm going to square and wipe my lips off. This brush is shaped like this, and I'm gonna just dip into a dark brown. It looks almost like black. Basically, it's a black brown, but it's it's cute. So I literally line my lip. This is honestly my favorite part, not gonna lie. Besides my brows, it's my favorite part of makeup because the lip just ties it all together. We're gonna do the same thing for the top. Once I line them, I put shadow down on my lip. And then blend it out as much as I can. And then there we have it. It's lined and cute. And then, if I, I mean, let me see. Just using the pencil just to get more of a sharper look. It's hard to talk when you're doing all this. Um, and then, the lip gloss that I love to use is by B. Simone. Oh, lashes. Um, so I use the B. Simone lip gloss and detox. So that's the color I put on first. And it's very thick and pigmented. So it goes, goes on like this. And then do the same thing on the top. Now that's the first color. Then I go in with the NYX Butter Gloss and Praline. And this is what it looks like. And basically this goes on top. Like that. I take a little bit of the B. Simone Beauty and You're My Boyfriend. <laughs> it's a lighter pink. And I literally just do one swipe like that. I don't know, it seems like a lot, but it's it's cute. Then the last thing I take is the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Glass Slipper, which is just a clear gloss, but now it's more so like not, because I put it on top. So just literally, I wipe it off 
to the point where it's just like the thinnest layer and then I just blend it all together. So I'll do the top lip first. See how it just blends it all together. And there's our lip. Very cute. And then, what else do I have to do? I'll come back when I put on my lashes. I might put on a little bit of eyeshadow. Nothing too extravagant, but this is my overall routine, and I hope you guys learned something from it. If you have any questions, you can just come see me in my room. Um, this is the before. Just messy. Not dirty. Messy. I'll be back when it's clean. Okay guys, so this is my board outside of my room. I live in 313. Um, my seats are really messy, so I'm gonna cover. It's a surprise. Okay, here's my room. Pictures of me on the door, of course. And here we go. So first, this is my bed. I love pillows, as you can see. I have about six right now on my bed and then I have two extra ones that just you know extra cushion and then over here is my closet I have it color coordinated as best as I can so I have all my jeans and I have my black pants and then I have a few pairs of shoes in there and then I have sweaters shoe boxes Uggs and things like that in there and then you walk over here. My floor is a little dirty as well. But I have all my like cleaning stuff. As far as like hygiene, I have my deodorants, my body sprays. I'm also starting like a little high end perfume collection. So, so far I have these four here. And then these ones I just like carry with me like in a book bag or anything if I'm on the run. Um, and then this is my desk. I have my little TV, computer, and then all my makeup stuff that's just a portion of it i have a lot more but that's daily use and then beside my bed i have a bunch of pictures so i have pictures of my mom friends and then like different memes and stuff so yeah and then behind my door i just have a few jackets my keys a little mirror set up then over here i have my little glasses collection Oop, my glasses collection um, I have a lot
um, just as an add-on because I showed you how to do my makeup. So why not show you how I take it off? So usually I'll use a makeup wipe. And right now I've been trying out the loose leaf makeup wipes from Crayon Case. And these are really good. It takes off a lot of um, your makeup, like the whole thing in one wipe. Um, and then to wash my face, I use the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser, and it looks like this. Or I'll use the Cetaphil Daily Cleanser. And then for a mask, I use this Mario Badescu Special Mask for Oily Skin, and it looks like this. And most of these products I've gotten from Ulta or like Amazon or just the website. And then after I wash my face, I use this every day. Um, in the morning and night um, then after that I go in with the toner on a little cotton square or just a cotton round and I use this witch hazel by Dickinson's looks like this then after I do that I let it completely dry because it is a liquid and then I go in with the ordinary hyaluronic acid and this is good for like moisture and just hydration and adding it back into your skin and then I'll spray my face with rose water. This is what it looks like. And then sometimes if I'm feeling a little extra, I'll use this tea tree oil. And it looks like this. And it's not very strong, but it works really good. And then overall, to top it off, to moisturize, I use this Vanny cream. And it just helps me because I, had, I personally have sensitive skin. So it's just really good. So that's what i use on my skin and yeah hope you guys found some tips